Good morning, 1050th family. It's Chaplain Bradford with your post FTX chap word. And it's simply this, face it with faith. Face it with faith. What is it, whatever you have to face, right? This probably would have been a more apropos word as we arrived here Thursday. But as I think about today, April 2nd being Palm Sunday, the Sunday of Jesus's triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Now I know we celebrate it as a triumphant entry because of all the palm trees and the celebration, but can you imagine what Jesus felt knowing that he was a few days away from fulfilling his earthly purpose, a few days away from facing crucifixion on the cross? I need you to understand that while we celebrate how great this day is, the reality is for Jesus and for many of us, we are facing some challenges that we don't understand, nor can we even predict how they're going to end up. We, 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 that's how many of us felt when we got here, boots on ground. We didn't know what we were going to expect, but we did everything we needed to do. We, we endured the suck. We, 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 we rallied with our battles. We, we, we faced every challenge and opposition with faith. And yes, some of our situations were unbearable. Some of them were frustrating. Many of us got frustrated, got angry. Many of us did not get the sleep we thought we were going to get. Many of us did not get the assignments we thought we were going to get. But we faced it. Here's the thing about Jesus riding in to Jerusalem, knowing, but still moving forward. And that's the word I want to leave with you today. Not only as we have accomplished FTX, but also as we face whatever we face in the weeks and days ahead, keep moving forward. Sometimes it's not your responsibility to figure out how it's going to work out. Sometimes it's just your responsibility to face it with faith, trusting that the God who got you this far will see you through, trusting that the God who got you to North Airfield on Thursday is the same God that saw you load your stuff on Sunday. The same God that allowed you to overcome the last challenge you faced is the same God that has positioned you and purposed you to overcome what you're about to face this upcoming week. But you must face it. That's all you have to do. That's your only requirement. That That's your only assignment. That That's your only op or, right? Face it face it. Don't cower from it. Don't run from it. Don't flee from it. Don't procrastinate it. Faith, face it with faith. And I don't know, it will get rough. It will be dark. You will have your Gethsemane moment, right? You will have your upper room moment where everybody's rallying around you and making promises. Then you'll have your Gethsemane moment where you don't really want to face it and the people you thought who were with you seem to flee from you. You may even have your betrayal moment where somebody closest to you kisses you and turns you over to the enemy. You may have your uh, uh, Calvary moment, your Golgotha moment where you get crucified publicly. But can I tell you to shout in all of this that today is Palm Sunday, but seven days later is Resurrection Sunday. In other words, seven days later, whatever bad went on during that week was canceled by the resurrection. And all I'm trying to tell you as I close this simple chap word is that if you can just endure, if you can just face it with faith, I don't care how dark it seems. I don't care how dead the situation seems. You serve a God who has already modeled what resilience looks like because on the third day, Early in the morning, he got up with all power. And if you can just endure the suck, if you can just face it with faith, you too will be triumphant. You will overcome and you too will get back up again. Listen, y'all have an amazing day. Get some rest after y'all get back to the armories, after y'all um, close out and have your final formation. Get some rest. 
But remember, listen, face it. Don't run from it. Face it with faith. All right, listen, I love y'all. Speaking blessings over each one of you. Please, if you have someone that you want to connect, have them text chap word to 84576. See you soon. Love you. To God be the glory.